Hello world and welcome to Elevated Intuition. Today we are doing a reading for your next week. So as always, I have three piles for you to choose from. One, two, and three. This is the part where you get to engage your intuition to pick the pile number or object. I will be placing objects here in a moment that resonate with you. And then I use my intuition to read the cards for you. So for pile number one, we have, I'm gonna place black tourmaline. For pile number two, oh, sorry. I live next to the Air Force Academy and they, they're going nuts today, I guess. Um, anyway, pile number two, this is Desert Rose. And then pile number three, this is Argonite. So if you still don't know which pile is for you, um, you can do some breathing with me. I'm going to close my eyes and go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in and release. Just be here in this present moment. Um, think about the energies of next week and the things that you want to accomplish. Go ahead and open your eyes and wherever your eyes are drawn, that is the pile for you. So I hope you have a lovely week and I will meet you at your readings. Thank you. Hello, group one. If you picked the black tourmaline, you are in the right spot. I'm gonna set that aside and then we are gonna pull a card for the overall energy for your next week. So overall energy for next week for group one. What is the overall energy for next week for group one? Next week, group one. Hmm. I was, <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like, I'm feeling kind of tight here. Um, and we've got resilience. Um, this too shall pass. It kind of feels like along the road, you have picked up a lot of things. Maybe it's just you're looking at this past year. Maybe it's a little bit longer time frame, but um, over time, it's been like more and more and more and more. This card to me has a lot of energy of like the Ten of Wands in it, where you keep picking up things and picking up things, and you are super resilient. That's you, you're picking up things because you're able to. You're able to, um, but at some point you might want to look around to lighten your load. It's not necessary for you to keep carrying on all of these things and to keep carrying on all this baggage. The other time, the other thing is we may pick up a job or something from someone else. Maybe it's our partner, maybe it's our coworker, maybe it's a family member, and you pick up a responsibility, you pick up something from them. Maybe it's even some sort of emotional baggage that you, because um, empaths can do this too, where they, they take on somebody's emotions. I absorb a lot of people's emotions and then I have like some very strange and weird thoughts that aren't my own. Um, and that, kind of clouds my judgment sometimes until I get down to the root of, is this really mine? Do I really need it? Um, sometimes it's necessary, like you're picking up responsibilities from your kids or somebody who's overwhelmed around you and you're able to pick that up, but it doesn't necessarily serve them or you for you to continue taking that on. Um, if you are an empath narcissists are more than happy, more than welcome to dump all of their emotional baggage on you, to dump very negative things on you. And you just take these things, um, you might, you know, transmute them. You might just not even really realize that you have like these thoughts and feelings and things that are coming through that just aren't you until you 
finally explode. Um, we don't want you to explode. We want you to, to continue on um, doing what you're, you're doing and to can do it um, successfully. So even the most resilient among us and the most happy among us to go ahead and pick up somebody else's slack as it were, um, we need a break sometimes. We need um, some time to kind of like, okay, sit down, sift through this bag of stuff here. Is it things that I really do need? Do I really need to take this with me? Um, you know, and really this time of year, if you're watching this video as I'm uploading it, this is a great time of year to start sifting through things like, what do you wanna take with you into 2022? What is something that you can set down? Maybe you're doing something that just really doesn't serve you anymore. It serves no purpose. Maybe there are things you're doing that you've picked up because somebody else couldn't handle it and it's time to hand those things back maybe you need to guard your emotional state and let go of some negative energy that just has settled there and really isn't yours um, an example for me um, some negative energy that I that I picked up was um, my neighbor was going through a really really difficult time and I didn't even really realize I absorbed some so much negative energy from her until I found myself, I was, it was in a really bad spot. Like I was kind of suicidal and I started sifting through it and I was like, wait a second, these are not mine. Um, these belong to my neighbor and I, I'm not gonna like, not, you know, I'm there for her. I wanna be there for her, but I need to protect myself emotionally too. It doesn't need to settle on me. We can just um, transmute those things and let them go. Okay, what else does group one need to know about next week? Okay, we have the fool, lovely. Um, I also want to talk about tourmaline. You know, picking tourmaline is something, like that's a stone of protection. So I feel like you might um, need some protection right now. You might need to, you know, even just writing down some negative things that are coming through, asking yourself, does this really belong to me? Is this really my thought or is it somebody else's thought? Can I let it go? If it is your thought, is it something that serves you? Can you let it go? Um, those things can help you. And we'll get to these cards as soon as I get one more. One more for group one for next week. What does group one need to know about next week? One more card. <laughs> four of wands very nice okay so we've got two fours here that's interesting to note we've got the four of pentacles reverse we've got the four of wands four is a number of stability and i feel like with your resilience that you are really a stable person or you at least want to um, project that and I think that's why you have been um, kind of able to take on these various things various tasks but it is time to do some housekeeping it's time to do some house cleaning it's time to clean some things out um, and I feel like that's why the four of pentacles comes out in reverse four of pentacles would be um, it Okay, so four is a number of stability. Pentacles is like um, kind of a lack mindset. You kind of are, become a hoarder. Like you pull all these things together. You keep all these things. I might need it someday. I have to have it. I'm gonna keep it in its original box, that kind of thing. Maybe I'm never even gonna enjoy it, but I may need it someday. Like if you keep, like you're looking at things and you're like, um, do I really need this little mermaid? Um, uh, maybe not. Uh, is it serving a purpose? Yes, I have a plant here. This plant is producing oxygen. Fine, we'll, we'll keep that. But, you know, cleaning out your closet, cleaning out your, um, your basement, um, those things, you know, in a very physical way uh, and letting things go. Um, if you haven't moved in a long time, um, you maybe need to look at the things that are like you're storing um, that is just taking up space and really adding to the clutter in your life. But um, I feel like a lot of this though can be very kind of like emotional or things that you think um, or even related to your job. Um, 
processes that you've picked up and maybe they're redundant maybe you do need to look at some things and think well you know what it would help if we did this and it would be a time saver time saver why because you want to jump off and do something new um, and I feel like when we have all of this baggage, it kind of holds us down. It kind of keeps us in a spot. And the purpose of the Four of Pentacles is, yeah, I know I want to, I want to stay in this spot. I want to stay here. I'm kind of like resisting change. But when we have the Fool come out here, the Fool talks about a new journey. So I really feel like when I was talking about, you know, kind of cleaning up this year, letting go of things that no longer serve us and going into 2023. Now we can do this at any, 2022, sorry. We can go do this at any time, at any point in time. It doesn't have to, have to happen with a new year, but usually there's a good energy because everybody else is kind of in that same mindset, that same frame. Um, so it helps us like really, what is my place here and um, you know, the fool kind of like doesn't let anything hold, hold him back or her back from going on like this journey that they want to go on. The, the, um, but they're, they're, you know, so that means though that you might have to let some things go. Maybe you're not doing the same things, like I said, you were doing before. Um, maybe you are putting, putting protections around yourself so that you know that your thoughts are your own. I feel like the Empress is here because it talks about how like kind and nurturing you are. You can find a way to be kind and nurturing without having to take over everybody else's baggage. It is actually a very kind and nurturing thing to like, yeah, help them through it, but at the end, let them deal with it. I almost feel like you want to, you really want to be there for your friends and family. You really want to help them through that. That's great, but they want to be, or they need to be strong as well. I'm getting this picture of a baby chick in an egg. And it is really interesting that, yeah, we can, uh, when we know that there's a baby chick in this egg and it, it, it needs to come out of this egg, we could help it, right? We could crack that egg, we can pull off the shell, we can take that baby chick out. But the thing is, like just the act of that baby chick breaking through that shell strengthens it. It needs to do that, it needs to complete those things for its own strength to, um, it doesn't need, it doesn't always need your help. You can give love without having to, um, you know, do everything for everyone. And I feel like when you put down that idea of you having to do everything for everyone, then you're like, wait a second, what can I do for me? And it feels really freeing. It feels really fresh. It feels really happy. And the four of wands suggests the four of wands is like a celebration that's actually been coming up a lot. So I'd be interested to know if you've had an, another, um, reading with me where this, the four of wands has come up because it's come up a lot in my Zodiac readings and it's come up in some other of my picket card readings. So let me know if it has four of wands is about celebration. It's about having fun. It's about, it really does feel freeing and fresh more so than like the four of pentacles. Um, and it, it does suggest that you handing back these things, um, to your friends, your family, the people that you've like kind of picked them up from, but doing it in a loving way, like understanding kind of like that baby chick, you got to let that baby chick hatch because that baby chick needs to be strong and resilient, just like you. And I feel like, um, hand, you know, of course you don't want to just like, I'm not doing this anymore, drop it on them, but just like, Hey, you know, do you think that you're able and ready to take this on? Like if it is like an actual physical task that you've been working with, or even like your kids, if you have children or maybe nieces and nephews, um, or, you know, maybe you're a teacher and you have those kids, like ask them like, Hey, do you think you're ready for some more responsibility? Can I hand this job to you? I feel like you're ready, but you can do that in a very, 
very loving, you know, with a very loving intent, with a very loving um, frame of mind, just like that baby chick, because you want them to be strong and resilient just like you, group one. So some final advice tree wisdom. This tree druid will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. So um, music might be helpful. It might help you gain insights. I hear song lyrics all the time in my head or just the right exact song that I needed to hear comes on the radio when I, when I need it. Um, so pay attention to the music that's going on around you. Um, if you do feel overwhelmed, maybe that's a way for you to help, help check, check out a little bit, um, and bring again, some joy. I think four of wands is often, um, associated with music too, because it's usually, it's a celebration. Um, these pandas are, maybe they don't look like they're, <laughs> they're celebrating together, but usually the four of wands is about like maybe a marriage or a party or baby shower, um, some sort of celebration where people get together and they may dance, they may listen to music. And what else, one more card of advice for our lovely group one. One more card for group one. Protection, okay, the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So again, Black tourmaline is great for psychic protection. So I feel like you picked black tourmaline for a reason. Um, many people put that at their, like their doors with the intent of like only allowing positive energy into their home. Um, I feel like you putting protection around yourself again with the, like, this is resilience. So if you are empathic, so you're not taking on emotions that you um, wouldn't, that you don't want, or at least you're, you're conscious of that it's there. So, um, a ring of protection. I love this. You can put like salt around your house on the outside. That would be a very fairy or green witch way to protect your home. Um, you can just put a bubble around yourself. So there's two ways that I love to put protection around myself, around my family. Sometimes I do this at night. I always do this when I get on a plane. I close my eyes and I envision like a bubble around me. And then I have bright white light from source pouring into that bubble and just filling me with protection. Another way that I love to put protection around myself is I close again, close my eyes. I love to do this in the morning. And when I'm going into maybe something that I would consider a hostile environment, um, maybe it's some sort of meeting or something where I'm not really sure about the people there. Sometimes parties, I get a little um, agoraphobic. <laughs> I'm an introvert, but I will close my eyes and I will envision like um, metal surrounding my whole body. So you can do this like you have a suit of armor, like you're a knight, or I like to do liquid metal. I love the metal to be shiny, like my whole body shiny liquid metal. And with that does, it, it almost like a mirror. If you've ever seen Silver Surfer, that's the look that I'm going for. Um, what I love about that, and especially when I do um, parties or I go to like a metaphysical fair or something out in the open, that positive people are drawn towards other positive people. Negative people do not like the, um, the image of themselves. So if you've covered yourself with something shiny, if you've covered yourself with mirrors, negative people just ignore you. It's such a weird phenomenon, but it totally works. And if you are in need of protection, those are my protection tips for you, group one. So that's what I have for you. I wish you a lovely week and I will see you in the next reading. Thank you. Hello, group two. If you picked two or the desert rose, you are in the right spot. And we are gonna get a starting point or actually like the, the energy, um, we're gonna start with the energy 
for you group two for next week. The overall energy for group two for next week. What is the overall energy for group two for next week? Overall energy to next week. Ooh, extremes, hot moon. So um, this is really interesting. The hot moon happens in June or July and the extremes are kind of like um, hot extremes, but I, I think it happens in July, but it really reminds me of June for the reason because um, that's, it, it reminds me of Gemini to me because we have like almost like two things going on, almost, um, like a duality here, um, with extremes, um, like a hot and cold, um, icy thing, um, with this moon. And when I say two things going on, what I mean is kind of like different energies. So it can be different energies, like you meeting it, you being in one type of energy and then like your partner or the people around you being in a different type of energy. It can also talk about, um, like a very kind of rage energy happening around you. But the advice of the um, hot moon or the extremes is to meet it with kind of that opposite energy. So I, to me, it kind of reminds me of Gemini because like I said, the duality, you usually like your knee jerk reaction to somebody who's really angry or somebody who's really mad would be for you to kind of get angry and mad too. But this talks about meeting that energy with like kind of a quiet calm, um, handling extremes with grace. Um, and getting, you know, kind of balancing things out, um, it is, is so it almost, so then Libra as well. It kind of reminds me, I'm seeing Gemini and Libra. So, um, I almost feel like then there's some air energy coming in for you group two, because those are both air signs, which means that you need to kind of calm down a little bit and use some logic. If you do have like this extreme, um, energy coming for you. And I also see like communication is really important. Communication is key. Um, speaking your mind, letting your, um, letting your point of view be known and you don't have to, again, meet that energy of somebody. Like if you're, you are seeing somebody who's angry, for instance, you don't have to meet their energy to let your point of view be known. And it's almost better that you don't like let them, um, have that and you come in with this quiet calm to like kind of really balance out these extremes because extremes is not um it, i almost get this like this too shall pass like um extremes is not where you want to be it's not where you need to be we need to find a little bit more balance here for our um for our overall week and let me get go ahead what is Group two, what else does group two need to know? What else does group two need to know? Okay, seven of pentacles. What else does group two need to know? For next week, group two, what else does group two need to know? Ace of Swords, yep, communication. Um, so stay grounded, communication, patience. What else does group two need to know? Group two for next week, what else do they need to know? Three of Pentacles reversed. What else does group two need to know? One last card for group two for next week. And we've got page of, interesting, page of swords reversed. You know, I just had a reading where the, I 
think, were page of swords. Maybe they were both reversed anyway. So it's interesting that we've got the ace of swords and we've got the page of swords and they are kind of in conflict with each other. We would expect them to be working together whether they were both, uh, well, here's our extremes, right? We're trying to balance things out. Uh, but the because they're great energies together. They're, you know, the page of swords, the ace of swords, they really should be working in conjunction with each other. Um, because they both speak about beginnings. First of all, the ace of swords is a great um, beginning. It has all of the potential of the, of the swords has all of the potential of air energy, of insights, of ideas, of communications. What it doesn't have is like the execution of it. And I feel like um, that is what we need to work on. Um, we need to work on the execution of how you speak and what you say and the ideas that come in. And um, I feel like kind of when the page of swords page of swords is reversed, that you might just be winging it, that you're not really sure what to do with these ideas or this communication. And we need to put some sort of, I don't know, practice behind it. I did say something about grounding because, well, we've got air energy and we've got earth energy here with this the pentacles. So we've got the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles. It's interesting too to me that I almost feel like um, the extremes, you know, I was like a balance, you know, I'm seeing a scale here and I almost feel like we've got like, okay, on this area over here, we kind of feel like we're under control. On this area over here, we kind of feel like maybe not. Um, so we do need to find this balance um, to come in for you. And I just feel like just talking about it, thinking about it, um, thinking that through, really thinking that through, and then putting some practical steps behind it is, is, is your key, group two. Um, Seven of Pentacles talks about um, working and you're working really hard and you've planted seeds and you've done something that you're just kind of waiting. <laughs> um, okay. I, I laugh all the time because I have these thoughts. I have these things come in that I, I find is funny. And what I find is funny about this um, is this little panda is fishing. And a lot of people find fishing very boring. It's like, what is more exciting, watching paint dry or fishing? But it is about patience. It is about um, here and sticking to your plan and seeing it through. Um, it, it's like a watched pot never boils. Well, it does. It boils in the same amount of time as a pot that you're not watching, but it just seems like it doesn't. And at this point, when we have the seven of pentacles, it seems like you're watching that. You're like, okay, I, I really want to sit here and um, see this through, but it, it just doesn't like you know, just hang in there, <laughs> have patience, okay? Um, and the three of pentacles reversed. Three of pentacles, I'll show it to you upright because this is, this is really cute with these um, three little um, pandas who are playing together. And it is about harmony. It is about um, working with other people, but we have it reversed. So I feel like that's part of your extremes. That's part of like what you, you know, things just aren't flowing necessarily the way that you would love them to flow. It doesn't mean that it's out of the ordinary. It doesn't mean that it's too much for you to handle at all. It just means to like bring it back, have patience, understand that, you know, you can get more flies with honey than you can with um, vinegar. So, um, you know, be kind, um, set intentions with what you wanna do, um, be very practical about what you wanna do. I feel like maybe there are some people in your, your friend, either this is a friend group or this is a working group, this working relationship where they're not, um, they, they're interrupting your Zen over here. They're interrupting um, your quiet calm and you just can't let them win. Um, and again, with the page of swords, it just, it seems like you need to set some intentions about where, what you want and where you wanna go and how you wanna get through this week. Um, and you know, if, 
if somebody, one of your friends or coworkers goes off the reservation and they go a little nuts, it doesn't mean that you have to follow them. Um, you can just continue on your path. You may feel a little bit lost in your path this week. Again, I just feel like um, coming back to um, like this Ace of Swords, like, because Ace of Swords is kind of about some inspiration, like what made you wanna go down this path in the first place? And maybe the information that you want, because this little panda is sitting here with some books, maybe you don't have quite the full information that you need to finish things off. Again, this is just this week, um, and I feel like have patience and um, set that intention for where you wanna go. I'm going to get two more cards here from this deck. Um, these are advice cards. What else can we tell um, group two? What else, what other advice does group two need for next week? Group two advice for next week. And this is a, a deck, a fairy deck, by the way, but I love the, the energy behind it. I love the messages. So I really love this deck. And I love this card for you. Moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotion and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So I feel like um, above all, you know, keep your peace of mind. I think that there are other people who may um, want to, I don't want to say wreck that for you, but you know, they've got their own thing going on. They've got their own agenda and you need to find your own quiet calm. Don't let, don't let like whatever's coming in. Um, cause it, you know, when we've got swords energy, we've got information coming in. Um, you may need to turn off the news this week if it is like disturbing and it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right or it doesn't feel good for you. Um, that, and that's okay. You don't have to listen to something 24 hours a day. The only people who think you need to listen to news 24 hours a day are the 24 hour news networks and they don't care about your well being. They care about their ratings. And then, oh, look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring you insight you seek. I love this because we've got the page of swords. I already pointed out this little panda with this book. And um, a book is a little bit, that the information that you find in books that's vetted a little bit better than, you know, hearsay or memes or um, random things that come across on social media or in the news. Um, I feel like it's a great way to kind of slow down. It's a great way to, if you um, have something that you're just waiting on, it's a great way to kind of distract yourself and you can get some really good information. So plus, you can do this for free, like go to your library. You don't have to buy a book. You can just go to the library and find a book that you need that's on a subject that you're interested in. Um, it can help you like um, not be so involved in um, this three of pentacles reversed here where your friends or coworkers or whatever is like kind of going nuts at the moment. Um, and it'll help, I love reading books too because I feel like it helps ground you. And again, you know, we've got air energy which can be kind of chaotic, but we also have, have pentacles energy for you this week. So it's really interesting that we have like these extremes and I feel like those are kind of extreme elements too. But I feel like, you know, the you want information, you want things to come in right. Well, I feel like reading and getting your information that way, it helps ground you a little bit. Um, so I feel like that's amazing advice for you, <laughs> group two. So I hope that you have a wonderful week. Um, I hope that you're able to keep your calm and you find the information that you're looking for. And I will see you in the next reading. Thank you. Hello, group three. If you picked the Argonite um, crystal, you are in the right spot. Um, let's start this. Let's, let's get these cards out. So overall energy for group three's week. What is the overall energy for group three's week next week? Overall energy for group 
three for their week. What is the overall energy for group three? Acceptance. Um, number four, and then this is um, waxing crescent. So where are we? Waxing is maxing. So that's not where the moon is at the moment. It could be when you're watching this because these, these are um, timeless readings. And I love the idea of like acceptance and reaching for people's hands and um, using that to create connections. Um, peace comes to mind when you accept, you kind of let go, you stop fighting, you give into the flow. And also like this card, the number of it is it's number four, which four is a number of stability. Um, I also love the, that, you know, you're reaching, it's clearly um, two people's hands. So um, accepting somebody for who they are or them accepting you for who you are, accepting ideas, um, all of those things for your week. And I'm gonna get four more cards out here to talk about acceptance. Um, when we have the Ace of Wands, Ace of, Ace of Wands popping out, I feel like maybe this is something you have been fighting a little bit. Um, oh, two of cups reversed. Um, mm -hmm. fighting um, a passion of yours. Um, what else can we talk about? Three. And it's fine. It's time to give in. It's time to start on it. It's time to give to give in to that passion. Um, you could be have been fighting about it because you're concerned about the way that other people look at you. Um, if you follow your dream, um, you know, fear, and, and that's why you have the two of cups reversed. I feel like though, um, when you accept and love yourself and what you want to do, others will be there for you. We have the five of pentacles and now we've got, oh, cool. The king of swords. So, um, I feel like whatever journey that you want to go on, um, it, it, it looks like there's some rocky roads. It looks like, it looks like there is, um, you know, obstacles, of course, you know, nothing is ever easy and it is probably not going to be as easy as you think it is, as easy as, as you dream it to be. Ace of Wands, aces are the beginning of something new. That's the, the seed, but, um, Again, I feel like this seed has been growing for a while. I feel like it, it has something to do with your passions. And I feel like it, you've been kind of afraid to reveal it to other people because you're not sure um, what they will think or, you know, you don't want it. You don't want your um, ideas to be shot down. But when we start with an ace and we end with a king, like, that tells me that there is, you know, even though we have like some rockiness in between, it tells me that this is a journey that's worth taking and that you will be successful at. Um, we have the two of cups reversed. Two of cups is a partnership. So either this is a journey that you wanna do on your own or the partner that you have, or you're just concerned about what they will think. Um, I, when we have this like right next to the acceptance, and I'm really looking at the five of pentacles in terms of the um, the imagery here, I, I feel like people support you. Um, that, that fear is not, um, like you don't need to have that fear. You need to give, you can, you can let go of that fear. People are going to support you. People are going to love you. Um, and they are going to be there for you on your journey. The five of pentacles would be like, kind of like the middle of your journey. You've hit some obstacles. Maybe you've kind of lost your way a little bit and you're thinking, oh my gosh, like, am I really supposed to do this? Do I really want to do this? But, um, the, the thing about the five of pentacles is often, and I love this one because you know this, this bear is, is hugging the other bear. 
we don't see our support system around us. We don't have to do this alone. We don't have to feel alone. Um, again, and I feel like you, you, you believing in yourself is the first step to everybody else believing in you too. I feel like, um, and that's with the King of Swords. Like the King of Swords is somebody who goes out and seeks the truth. The King of Swords is somebody who speaks the truth. And I feel like you are meant to speak what is on your mind, what is on your heart, what your passions are, and what you really wanna do. And once you accept that for yourself, like self-acceptance I think is the most important thing because then it sets like this energy out like, yeah, I believe in me and people love to kind of jump on those bandwagons. I love to support people who like are, are really into like their thing. Um, it may not be my thing. I may not understand how they're going to make that work, but when they, I love dreamers, like when they're um, into their dream and maybe I come across them and I'm like, hey, you know what? You have something really great going on here. Keep going. Um, so I feel like the, the king of swords is somebody who has been through this entire journey and has not stopped. I, and But again, he's somebody who has along the way just totally um, spoken the truth. Um, he has communicated clearly to other people um, involved who want to be involved and who want to help. And he is, he he's just him. And um, I love the feather there. I feel like, you know, writing some, you know, this, the feather almost looks like a quill to me um, where you would write some things down, write some goals down. I feel like the five of pentacles also talks to a, 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 a of being so, so very practical about what you're doing. But it's also interesting, we've got wands, cups, pentacles, and swords. So whatever you wanna do is very much tied into like your emotions, like how you feel about yourself, um, how you see yourself, um, and then um, the way that you talk to yourself and you talk, talk to others is important but i feel like you have all the tools that you need you just need to start um going on you know again putting practical things into motion and i f i feel like there will be you know that you're i i almost see the two of cups as a fear that you're not you're afraid that other people wouldn't support your journey or you're afraid about what they would say about it and the thing is is even if they Let's, let's say they didn't like what you were doing. So what, you know? Um, you not starting on this journey would be the same as them blocking you from the journey. And that's what I always am like, okay, you, you didn't f apply for a job as an example. You didn't apply for the job because you were afraid you wouldn't get the job. Well, you 100% guarantee you don't get that job if you don't apply for it. So I feel like um, you just accept that there is always kind of like this level of um, fear attached to change. Um, and go with it and go for it anyway. Like, okay, you didn't get the job. Well, you guaranteed you wouldn't have gotten it um, if you didn't apply for it. Did you learn something? Did you get to go to an interview? Did you get to meet people? Maybe it wasn't even what you wanted in the first place, but at least it puts you out there and it puts you, you know, exposes yourself and it gets you doing something and moving forward. And we have Magical Gateway. Magical gateway, I love this. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. I don't even feel like I need to add to this because um, you know what we were just talking about, um, you know, using that key, going forward and these these two came out so we'll take them but yeah love that for you and the hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I am getting goosebumps really for you. The Five of Pentacles, you know, it talks about being kind of like in such kind of an emotional state of negativity that you don't see this rainbow. I love also we have more doves. Look at that. Peace, peace of mind, rainbows, unicorns, everything. <laughs> abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you have. In fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. You guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> this Wow. So do not stop doubting yourself. You are this king of swords over here. Go find your truth. Go and do it. Um, you know, step into this gateway. You already have the key. You already have all of the, you know, the suits coming together. You have all, you have everything that you need. You, so start with this imp inspiration, start walking forward. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. You know, it's, they, they're the ones who need to get on your bandwagon is what needs to happen, group three. So lovely, I love this for you and I hope you have a fantastic week. I will see you in the next reading, thank you.